Looking for cheap and reliable College 25 Ultimate Team coins? Head on over to MMO EXP and use code Poodle at checkout for 5% off your order. Hey, what's going on, everybody? It's Poodle back with another CFB25 video. And in today's video, I'm going to be going over a glitch that you can use in the transfer portal to guarantee yourself five star, four stars, three stars, whatever else you may want in the transfer portal. Now, before we do get into the video, guys, as always, give the video a big thumbs up. Every like does help. You guys have been killing it. Make sure to subscribe if you're new. We're trying to get to 30K as quickly as possible. Each sub helps. Thank you guys so much for the support. And of course, if you look down below, my Twitter link and my underdog link will be there. Sign up for underdog using my code so you can be ready for the CFB season and the NFL season. And if you haven't, check me out on Twitter. Follow me over there. I do tweet a little bit more proactively. I will answer DMs about some dynasty advice. A lot of people have already been utilizing that. And if you haven't as well, you can send me your dynasty. You can ask me questions and I'll rate your dynasty as well. So let's get into it. So we are in the transfer portal week. That's the first step in this, right? Make sure you're in the transfer portal week. You can also just proactively watch this and be ready for when you get to the transfer portal. But that's pretty much it. Be at the transfer portal. That's the main requirement here. Go into transfer portal, go to your prospect list and sort and look for whoever you want. This could be anyone for the purpose of this video. I'm just going to take the first few four stars as you guys see. I'm going to click on a few of them, add them here. I have a few added already and that's about it. But you could basically do this on anyone. So it really comes down to your transfer portal luck. Sometimes you have five stars, sometimes there's four stars. Sometimes there's no talent at all. But if you want someone in the transfer portal, someone you really want, this is the best way to do it. So the first thing you got to do is go ahead and apply a scholarship to all the guys that you want to add to your stock that you want to add to your squad right go through apply them and keep moving on the scholarships and we're gonna have, we're gonna offer a few guys right here now so keep in mind during this week you can just pretty much spend as many points as you want you have your maximum hours even a little school can kind of go crazy this isn't recruiting season right the, during the season where you have to go for like 20 guys and you're kind of spread your net wide and be efficient you can kind of go crazy here so offer scholarships to the guys that you want the guys you want it's probably only going to be a few once you do offer all those scholarships you can go in and start doing this so the first thing you want to do is schedule a visit right away right the moment you log in now i'm gonna tell you guys why for this glitch to work it is a recruiting visit glitch when you schedule a visit, you do lock everyone else out of scheduling in that week. So if someone else beats you to the schedule, you're pretty much locked out and this is really going to hurt you. And on the flip side, it's a great advantage to lock everyone else out. So if there's a guy you want, the first thing you want to do is like right when you advance, whether it's online or offline, go immediately in and start scheduling your visits. Now, keep in mind, how can you schedule a visit week one? You don't see the motivations. This is where one of the methods comes in where you want to go to their deal breaker playing style. When you go there and you go to visit, you now know that playing style is one of them. Now, here's the only thing to keep in mind. If you are a low tier program, this may be a little bit less advantageous because you may end up picking a bad grade, but you want to get the visit in. So make sure you do schedule it. So there we go. We schedule the visit. You want to go ahead and add your, add your actions on for the purpose of this. Send the house, right? You have all your points to so make sure you're doing that. And this is only a four week process. So schedule visits, go across the whole thing and continue to do this deal breaker coach prestige. And you can see how easy this is to just go in and schedule them right away. Some leagues, people may not know that. So they may actually wait a week for advance to see if they can go ahead and actually get one of their guys on with a, with a motivation. So do understand that this is already great because you're going to start early and you're locking them out. So we're going to keep going through, we're just going to keep doing this. And then once you have all your guys ready to go with their, with their, send the house with their schedule to visit, you can actually go ahead and advance the week. Now keep in mind with this, you can only do four at a time. And to do this glitch, you are gonna be doing numerous visits for a player. So make sure that you're not scheduling guys on the weeks ahead. So right here, right, I scheduled the guy for week two. This essentially takes up a spot on the following week. So I want to showcase this because now that means next week, I can only put three on week two. So you really wanna narrow this down to four guys that you really want. Like I said in the beginning, you're only gonna be doing a few guys. Narrow this down to the four guys that you absolutely want because you're gonna wanna keep going through this. And of course, if you do end up losing a commit, you can can go ahead and then allocate or if you do not want a guy you can drop them but you're gonna see here that with the only with only those four we're gonna advance and you're gonna see what happens so we're in week two we got a huge boost because of all these visits right a lot bigger boost even we're catching up to Bama and Ohio State when we were behind we're catching up here when we were behind LSU has a huge lead here and we have a huge lead here okay so that's great so I'm gonna showcase right here with Brylan Green free safety you're going to want to go ahead and start removing these guys and then re-adding them back. I recommend looking at their names because you might find it hard to kind of find them again in certain instances. So we added Brylan Green back. We're going to remove Michael Richard, the free safety. We're going to go add him back and you're going to want to go so on and so forth as you do go ahead and get these guys back on your board. Now, keep in mind as you do this, this is a very important step. If you don't do this correctly, you're not going to be able to go ahead and do this and it's going to confuse you. So make sure you are following me exactly. Remove your guys and go back and add them and just make sure that you are adding them back. And honestly, there's been a few times where I've kind of lost them. So that's why I'm saying, make sure you have their names. So now once you go back here, we have a huge lead on these two guys, right? And these, now notice, you might think removing them actually loses your scholarship bonus or loses anything. You actually just locked in your points. So if you look, instead of having that like half shaded transparent bar, you're now just full. 
they're just full it's kind of just what you have right so now they're locked in so now you want to do is go ahead and offer them another scholarship now the great thing about in the off season or the recruiting portal transfer portal is that you actually do have a lot of points so it doesn't really matter now you're gonna to want to do this immediately like i said when you advance because you can go ahead and now lock them out for another round of visits now essentially you can visit you can do this four straight times typically you weren't able to actually schedule more than one visit like that's it once you schedule your visit on a player you're done but because you're doing this you're able to actually take it back off make sure you are putting the house back on by the way i've done this a few times where i've forgotten to put it back on and then you end up losing because you didn't you didn't keep your recruiting actions on but if you look at this keep going through offer scholarships schedule visits and you don't want to go through and do this on all of them make sure you add your send the house back on and now you're cooking now you've essentially added an extra round of visits and this can go all the way of course you're going to end up recruiting them as soon as possible but that's the key here this guy of course now we can't give him a visit because we have four like i told you by doing this guy up here so that's what you want to keep in mind when doing this so we've added these rounds that's how the glitch works you're able to just remove them re-add them and re-add it now is this ethical maybe not if you're in an offline league and you really just want a guy and you don't feel like fighting with georgia great method to use just get ahead of players great method for a smaller school now something to keep in mind if you're on an online league some commissioners some other members may not find this ethical can they prove it possibly can will it be easy to track not exactly but that's on you i'm not saying i condone this but i am trying to share the info with you guys so we are going to advance here and you're going to see pretty simply how you're able to go ahead and actually get these points for the recruits so let's go back into our prospect list let's go to our recruits and see what we did with that extra recruiting week if we scroll on down you see right here this guy we're still in the lead and we actually secured another visit with this guy we've taken a big lead here we secured a week two visit with this guy and this guy as i told you, we weren't able to schedule another visit with because he was there so that's how it happens if you end up making a mistake like this where you put a visit on a guy that you wanted for week two you now can't schedule the second visit and this guy had a big lead with bama we needed that second visit to get it and this guy right here we were already pretty behind on this one as well and like i said as i showcased we didn't put send the house on him so that's what happens that is what happens when you remove them so make sure i cannot stress that enough i've done that in my actual like offline sims i forgot to put the 50 back on them and then although i get the visit extra points as you saw the scholarship in the visit i don't get anything else because i made that mistake so right here we're going to finish these guys up you can go to free safety you can remove them again you can remove richard go back to prospect list and then filter by free safety and you can go and add them right here again and you can go through and you can just drop the hard sell you can offer the scholarship you can schedule another visit for week three and the best part about this guys even if it's not just about getting the it's not just about getting the ticks right it's not just about getting the interest when doing this you're locking other people out and this week is so important for visits because that's the main thing you're going to do you're going to offer send the house right everyone's going to do that and of course make sure you are offering the hard sell when you do get it i i'm not that's not exactly the point of this video but i am trying to go through all this note that you, you got to see if you have the green ticks if you don't you can keep going with this you can try to do process of elimination and you can check it out this guy right here obviously does have it so go ahead and go to hard sell and switch when you are available to do so but again like i said the key thing with this is even if it's not about getting the points you do just keep getting so much benefit from this because you're locking them out so when you do it right away like i said here you go on down you've now effectively locked every team out for three straight weeks from going on this guy so not only are you getting a bigger lead on them not only are you outgaining them you're also hindering their ceiling which is the important part of this too in the transfer portal there you go we got Brylan green and we got michael richard so those are two guys that we just got they got three straight visits and we did not get set back we did not lose any momentum because we were doing it or kicking them off all it's going to cost you is an extra 45 each week which is fine because you're in the transfer portal this can be applicable to the regular season, but it's a little bit harder because of the way points work and the way the weeks work and home games and visits, but it can be done there as well. I will be making a video on how to do it in the regular season, but yeah, it's pretty much the video. We locked up two guys just like that, and I showcased too how you could lose this, how you can make a big mistake if you forget to A, add your points back on, and B, accidentally go too hard with future recruits on visits and then end up being locked out of the guys you were supposed to do multiple visits on. But it's very simple. We got three straight visits. This can be done as many times in a row, four straight, and the transfer portal is a big week for visits that's like that's the one where you're going to probably do four straight visits if possible and no one else can do a visit the same week as you so make sure that you are locking them out and doing it as early as possible that's the other thing like if you're in an online league and you log in 12 hours after advance those guys are probably already scheduled you want to be ready and waiting the moment they advance get on remote play and make sure you lock in your visits as soon as possible but that is it for the video hope you guys did enjoy if you're new to the channel hit that subscribe button turn that noti bell comment down below if you need any help follow me on twitter and that's about it thank you so much for watching i'm out peace